We estimate that Greater Hampton Roads will experience about 9,000 children and families slipping in and out of homelessness each year. And we help about 43,000 people, um, 19,000 children right here in Hampton Roads. We served probably 2,500 different people last year. 99% of them are 200% or more below the poverty level. What I found in my years of public service and also as a businessman, if we're not taking care of those that are in our community, then I'm not sure why we're doing what we do. And I think what we need to be mindful of is that we can't stop what has made us great. We've got to continue to strive to give back because there's still a need. There's still much left to be done in the community. There's still many families that are struggling. And so we can never lose sight of what, you know, what our mission is. So I would just say to all of us who, who are shareholders, while dividends are great, profits are important, people are more so. They're, they're the reason that we exist, to serve the community, not to serve ourselves. Coming into the 2011 JT Walk, we were trying to figure out what can we do to uh, rally behind a community project where it would be able to impact as many people as possible throughout the region. The very first thing that we did actually was go out and, and we spoke with Town Bank. Um, we started thinking about CHKD and we asked them, what do you guys need? So we said, you have opportunities to donate a NICU incubator or buy us a new mobile intensive care unit, whichever. And before we could even finish whichever, they said, we'll do the mobile intensive care unit. We're so lucky to have it right here in our community. Most communities do not have that. So just by banking or investing with Town Bank, you're supporting your community in a number of ways. And CHKD is one of those organizations which would not survive. We would not exist without that. So what I would say to any Town Bank investor or any Town Bank customer would be that your membership is incredibly valuable. And you're making a huge difference in your community. And we couldn't do it without that. started with a phone call I got from my wife saying something's wrong with Caroline. She was having trouble waking up. Her eyes were kind of starting to roll back. Her color looked really off. Well, it was surreal, honestly. I mean, it's hard to believe that it was happening to us. It became clear that she was in a very, very critical state. The second we saw the CHKD transport team walk through those doors, I felt like everything was going to be okay. Pretty much anything that needs to be done in an ICU level, say in a pediatric ICU or in a neonatal ICU, we can do that in the back of that ambulance. And they were able to save her life. I mean, they literally did that. You know, how do you measure that? How do you articulate the, the value of that? Without their skill, uh, without their equipment, that comes in the transport team without the expertise of that essentially traveling um, intensive care unit, we likely wouldn't be sitting here with three children today. This is the poorest concentrated area of poverty in James City County. A lot of people don't even know this community is here. There are miracles that happen here daily. Just because you're poor and you don't have enough doesn't mean that you need to be treated any differently. One catastrophic event in any of our lives could put us in this bread line. We started out thinking they'd serve 10 families a month, and this last year we served about 2,000 of the 3,000 people who live here. If it hadn't been for these guys down here, we would have been hungry a whole lot of days. It means that we can make ends meet sometimes. Sometimes when, you know, the food stamps run out or we don't have enough to buy groceries, we can come here and there's always abundance of bread, there's fellowship here. Town Bank was very instrumental in supporting not only our food pantry, but our capital campaign as well. I really believe that God just loves the people in growth. I also want to thank Town Bank for their lead gift of $100,000. It goes beyond just the finances. It's them coming out to help on a bread day, making a phone call on our behalf. It's a personal relationship that we have with them. And um, 
we just love Town Bank. <laughs> Look what you've done. Look what you've accomplished. Look what you've helped us do. We can't change the world, but we can make a difference in Grove. And if we are making a difference in Grove, we are changing the world. I think nobody understands how hopeless poverty is. And for kids, we feel so strongly that homelessness and poverty should not be a life sentence for children. When you see your kids crying because they're going to bed hungry, something has to give. So we finally got to four kids, and as soon as I got there, I just knew, I said, this is it. This is our turnaround point. And it's because of the people that are in the background. It's because of the people that contribute to four kids that we can actually say we have a future now. Four kids assist about 150 families every day. So um, that's about 300 to 400 children all over Hampton Roads. We focus on three areas, housing, education, and clinical services. These children and these families, nobody sees them, but they're there and they need us. It's such a loss to our community when we could invest in them and they can be our next scientists, they can be our next judges, they can be our next teachers, and they can be the future of our community. And town has been just extraordinarily generous to support for kids and the work. And that has made an absolutely profound difference and um, we, we love having town as our partner and you know we need more partners just like town. When nobody else wouldn't let me in their house, when nobody didn't want to be bothered with me, this was the one door that was open. And I thank God and I thank Salvation Army each and every day. It's been my lifesaver. We came to Hampton Roads uh, in 1905, so we're more than 100 years old in Hampton Roads, and you know we serve about 110,000 people. About one tenth of Hampton Roads comes through our doors, uh, unduplicated every year. We have a lot of different programs. We serve men, we serve women, we serve children, we serve families. If Town Bank stops giving organizations like the Salvation Army and many others, we go away. When I was six years old, my father had left us and suddenly mother was there with this six-year-old child that she had to take care of. She quickly began to realize that she wasn't going to be able to meet the needs of this little girl and herself and keep a roof over the head and food on the table. And her greatest fear was that having lost her husband, now she was facing the possibility of losing the only thing she had in life, and that was me. So we went to the Salvation Army. What I love so much about the Salvation Army is they could have gave, given us a quick fix, given her some food, maybe paid a light bill, or a house payment and let us go on and go on to the next family. But they didn't. They enabled me to be able to go to school because they um, closed me. They made sure we had something to eat. And in the meantime, they were helping Mama to learn how to be out into the community and support herself and have a chance of supporting me. You can look at me and realize that they helped me to be where I am today. You never know what life you're touching. That's what I hope people will get from this. Not a story about me, but a story about the Salvation Army that took a little girl and her mother and provided them the chances in life that opened up the world to me. As you're leaving today, think about the lives that you saw today that were affected by what town has done. And have comfort that the town family is making a difference in the lives of many. 
and think about where you might be except for the grace of God. You can be proud of being a town shareholder and knowing that the mission of this bank is serving the community and its people. What I really want to say to all of the town shareholders is that without you, this work really doesn't happen. We can't, and many other organizations cannot do what we do without partners like Town Bank. We couldn't do this on our own. I mean, you're the ones that helped us do that. You're the ones that are making a difference in the community. When, when you give your money, you never know whether it's truly going to matter. They can rest assured, they can look into our eyes and recognize that that gift saves lives. It matters. So thank you for the financial resources to be able to do what so desperately needs to be done.